Amen. So, so that's how it teaches us that Ashi and Agbola were the only two main occupations. And Ashi means trading. And then Agbola means farming or agriculture. So it says if you say no to farming or agriculture, you say no to trading, then of course you will never enjoy the luxury of this world. Agodimu refers to a torn and unwanted clothes that people have thrown away. So you go and pick those. Today, let's ask ourselves, sincerely, are we wearing a good yeah. Thank you very much. We are. Because we, 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 we borrow money on daily basis, on yearly basis. Simply because we did not follow what the tradition teaches us. So the time has come for us to go back to our tradition and get knowledge bodies that we are supposed to use to develop ourselves first then we can develop our communities. So now, you're demonstrating the three stages. First, preparation. Second, the main motion. And then the climax. When it does the climax, I will explain the climax and that will be it. Let's go. So this is the preparation. You're preparing in your mind. Prepare your mind. That's it. In your future, prepare it. You're listening to Jamaica. Say Jamaica. Three, come on. Come on. Now, the climax is the most important part of Agbaza. If you do Agbaza without the climax, the cultural parents will say you do not know the dance because of its importance. What it means, as you saw him, he tilted the uh, uh, pelvis to the side and to the other side. What it means is that those who were adjudicators, you are a judge, you have to remain neutral. So when you have cases involving two people, make sure you serve them in equal measure. And then they will all understand the process. You hold them, move forward in life, Drop it there for posterity to follow that example. We do it again, you see the climax and that's it. That's it.